Hey guys, Fubble Leak here today and welcome back to Production Line. This is actually, uh, I think, Alpha 1.09, so it's been been an update or two since the last time. Uh, I don't actually know what it changed. I, I read it briefly, but I didn't really know what was in the game before anyway, so I didn't... Anyway, what is this? Well, that doesn't look right. Uh... Uh, oh, okay. Um, well, that's new. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Okay, uh, I have no idea what happened there. I'm going to put that down to updating the game and, uh, the, I don't know, save being different or something. Uh, but what I've done, I've started on a new map, mainly because I was going to explain anyway uh, the mistakes that I had made, uh, which you guys also very helpfully pointed out, and then also... Uh, I sort of learnt by checking out some other stuff as well. So basically, uh, we're gonna we're gonna try again because uh, whoops because we can make something better than what we had before. So let's start with our good old uh, chassis or chassis assemble. So this is gonna go here, same as before. Uh, well, that's our exporter there, so we might actually. Uh... Oh no, there's one up there. Maybe we'll just take them straight because you can see we have an export uh, bay right there. So we might actually, if we just start down the bottom, we should be able to reach it by the top anyway. So that should be fine. Uh, so I'm going to put this one, two in from either edge, just so it gives us a bit of room to work around. Uh, that We'll worry about the stockpile in a minute. I'm actually going to pause it up here. So this, what have we got? This takes us, uh, so we're going to do a similar thing before, 25 seconds, and I believe it was two of these, because they're, uh, well, they're 63 seconds, so, so I'm going to leave a gap of two there. So I'm going to go one, uh, two, so 63 is going to take us down to... Well, like 31 and a half seconds, so it's a bit slower than that. So I might actually get a third. We'll be starting it with a bit more money this time around as well. So I, I actually don't know if we have enough to make this work or be viable. But uh, also, yeah, so one thing I didn't realize last time, which for some reason, I don't know why it didn't cross my mind, but conveyor belts are one way. Ha! Who would have thought? That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Uh, and you can tell which way they go by the little sort of black and yellow lines on them. Uh, now, I saw this little method of lining up conveyor belts uh, over on my good buddy Official Stuff Plus's channel because he's been playing a lot of it. And this method actually seemed to work quite well for him. So uh, to be able to get them to go to all three of these without having to go like, you know, in the middle and then left or right or forward, uh, especially when you have more than three anyway, uh, was to just take it to one end, take it all the way up and take it through like that. And then you just have a few junction points. So then it sort of just goes along, fills up whichever one is empty and it'll move on that way, which is pretty, uh, it's a pretty smart way to do it. So I, uh, I got that from him. You should check out his videos if you haven't already. Uh, right, so fitting body is gonna, yeah, so we got three of those. Then we're gonna do painting, which takes 68 seconds, which we probably just want three of them as well. That's really all we need. So we can, uh, we can do a similar thing again where we have the double up uh, little chain thing, or we could just do three separate lines, which is also possible. But I think I will go, actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep them as separate lines because, yeah, that's 63 seconds. This is 68, so. Oh, actually, because it's a bit quicker. No, you know what? I'm going to share. I'm going to share the line. I'm going to share the load, if you will. So we're going to get... Th I don't actually know how much money I'm spending. Oh, actually, not that much. It's not too bad. You can get three of those. This is going to come down. And then up to that one. Across like that. And then these ones come down like this, join there. So what it means is that while this car does have to travel a lot further, it just means that it will definitely get to one of those three. So there we go. Painting. Uh, fitting the engine is going to take us 55 seconds. So realistically, we only need two of those. I think. Uh, I don't know. Well, we'll find out as we go. <laughs> we'll find out as we go. So conveyor is going to go, you know, it's all just, let's see what happens. Let's hope it works. Uh, so that will come down this way. And then this will come down to there. Right. So that's going to go through to there to fit engine, fit accessories after that, which takes us 27 seconds. So really, we only need one of these. Uh, but again, we can always add more if it if one turns out to not be enough. Which, again, thanks to this little placement method, uh you can quite easily add on another one and just extend the conveyor. So it's actually quite, it's quite a smart way to do it, really. Uh, then we'll do the quality check, which uh, takes us uh, 10 seconds, which is no problem at all. Just put it there. Actually, you know what? I'll leave a little bit more room in case we have any more than one. And that will go into there. And then we just got to do the export, which is going to be there. Cool. And then we're going to sort out all of our uh, conveyor, our resource conveyors. So I'm going to get, we can get a resource importer from the top. We can also get one from, we can get two from the bottom here actually, which is quite good. So we're going to get a resource, how much we got? 389, is that right? It's kind of hard, the problem with this game is the UI is actually, oops. When you're playing, because I've got a 4K monitor, and when you're playing at 
that resolution. I'm playing in 1080p, so the window is freaking tiny on my monitor. Uh, all right, so resource conveyor. Now, we have... Now, what parts... Fitting engine, I know, takes a lot of damn parts. And I think that's this one, isn't it? Fit engine. So, yeah, we'll have this one come down to here. And just go straight across. And then this can also just attach to that one there. So that will take care of those areas. Then we can have this first one come up to here. Oop, auto save. Go in there. And then it'll go across. Oh, hang on. We'll go this way then. Go across into these. Like that. And then this one will come up past that one. And down to those. And then that should be everything with resources connected. And we have four. <laughs> 50,000 left. Uh, actually, don't know if we're going to have enough money to do this. Uh, I mean, I guess we'll find out. How long does money last? I don't know. Can we get a car out the door fast enough? Oh, this will be... Uh, it will certainly be interesting. This could be a pretty quick bank. I mean, I did. I guess I did. We probably didn't need to do so many different parts. Oh, we already have a car there. I didn't realize we already had one there. So then this one will go along to the next one. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, down to 42. Can I actually, like, can I, like, turn this off or something? I mean, I guess you could if you, um. No, I guess we shouldn't, though. I don't know that we're going to get a car through quick enough. They have the loans menu, but you actually can't take loans yet, which is a bit of a tease. Uh, now, I think if I remove a part. Do I get the money? I think you do get some money back. Let me just pause. Save. Uh, just in case. There we go. Um, Alright, so now we're, ooh, we're getting low. We're getting low. Hang on. We're getting low, low. Okay, remove that because then they won't ever make another car after that one's done. And presumably that would stop ordering more parts because there's nothing to fill up. Oh my god. Oh god, this could have been a really bad idea! Oh dear. Oh no, that car just stopped there. That did give me money back though, so that car is stuck there now though. Uh, that did give us a little boost in money, which unfortunately I kind of... Oh damn it, that car is stuck there now. I could, I guess, design a conveyor that does a U-turn. But let's wait till these get out the door first. Alright, so our first little car is there. It's going through the quality check. So we are about to sell our first car. Hopefully. This is a close call. Oh, Safe. Uh, I, I can't. I don't have the accent key, but it's gonna be called Safe. I'm also gonna give it a markup of. Let's go 75 percent. Are people gonna buy that? Come on. I don't know. I don't know that they will, but come on, buy that car. Oh, they did buy it. Fantastic. Okay. Woo. All right, so we have money. And if I leave this disconnected, we will not have money. So let me connect that back up and start producing new cars. Uh, insufficient resources. Oh, it's coming through now. That's fine. So we have another car coming out now. We're up to 65,000. 92,000. This is good. All right, so we're sending through more cars. Now, how much is another painting station? Because uh, 50,000. I definitely do not want to buy that now. Uh, that car is just going to have to sit there. How much are the uh, conveyors? Because we might be able to just go... Hang on. Don't... Don't... Uh, hold up. Let's see if I can... Oh, that car disappeared! Damn it, I broke it. Oh, whatever. I deleted that car. Right, so we're up to $93,000. We have a few more cars coming through. Insufficient resources there, but they're, they're coming in. They're coming in, slowly but surely. Um, resources are always a little bit of an issue. Especially with these... Uh, sort of top level segments where because when you start breaking them down you start feeding resources individually you can sort of manage it a little bit better but these sort of main parts can quickly run out of resources anyway we're getting cars through though which i think is important because uh, <laughs> we need to make money uh which oh okay that still hasn't been fixed which is nice uh where do i see uh over here money i guess that makes sense doesn't it because like, where do i see <laughs> Look at the money we spent. <laughs> right, so we've almost got another car out the door. We've got one waiting there as well. One's Another one's almost out after that. So that one's going to go to the lot. It got sold immediately, which is fantastic. This is good. I think we have a nice flow of cars coming through now. 
We are getting a little bit of a backup here at the uh, the paint stations. And even here a little bit at the... Uh, what, I don't even know what this is. The, uh, what, are we, what are we doing here? Fit body. Fitting body as well. But I think that's down to insufficient resources. Alright, 75,000. Good. Another car is ready to be sold. Uh, we are selling them at a pretty decent price, which is quite, quite good. Ooh, a little bit of backup there at Fit Accessories. Hmm. Okay. I... Look, this was a close call, and I, I couldn't... I don't think I could be happier with, <laughs> with it. Ju well, so far, just paying off. It looks like we're kind of... Uh, we're bouncing around the place. I'm hoping we start producing a little bit more money. Uh... Because ideally it would be good to get into research as well, but I don't, I don't know that I trust myself to be able to afford research right now. Let me, um... No. Let me, uh... Let's go 100% markup. Let's see if that sells. Because we're not producing many cars. So maybe there's demand. There's lots of demand for it with 100% markup. No, now we've got two cars sitting there. And that's Two cars sitting there is not good. We wouldn't be able to sell them. 90%. About 91. 88. Waiting to see that number go down a little. I guess there's one there too. We Because we do need to sell these. We can't just have them sitting around. Ah, oh, there we go. We sold one. Bring it down to about 80%. Alright, so we sold two of them. Sold three of them. Fantastic. $157,000. Not bad! Uh, okay, so let's get uh, let's get that paint station back. Because I, I miss it. It was 50000 bucks. I think it might be worth it. Okay. So now we have that there. So now cars can use that one as well. Down to 80,000 once more. Uh, it appears that our income and profit are good. Expenses are there, but not so bad. We might see if we can produce uh, some power eventually. How much is a research office? 49,000. Because it's definitely worth our time getting one of these bad boys, which I'm going to put over here, maybe. No, see, I don't want it to be. I don't know where I'm going to put extra stuff later on. I feel like we need another fit engine as well. Although that, I think that might actually just be down to the resource issue. Uh, I want to put it on the other side of the conveyor because that surely is not going to be in the way. Uh, right. Research. So we want to do more, I guess more robots are always good so we can do it a little bit quicker but also I think power production so we can reduce our cost might be a good idea. So let's, let's try that. Let's try researching a power plant. I'm not really sure how much that costs us to run the research either, but uh, it's there. Alright, so we have yeah cars waiting there with insufficient resources, which are, I hate how you always click on that, does it? Which, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's insufficient resources and not uh, the fact that it's too slow. But we are definitely getting a backup there now. For sure. I think there's just so many parts that need to come. We, I think we need to get the... We need to specialize the fit engine, I think is what we've got to do as well. We got a couple of cars waiting to be sold. Three cars waiting to be sold. Maybe they're a little too expensive now. People don't want to pay that much anymore. Let's bring it down to 70%. Just so we can because we I mean sure we could probably leave them sitting there for a while. They may eventually sell, but uh, I think it's better we sell them quicker rather than slower. Right, so we are definitely getting issues there. Whether we I mean there's constantly resources coming in. The problem is it's just because that thing is so far away, so when it runs out, like when it runs out and then it orders it, it has to come all the way down here. You can actually research, uh, it's like, uh, yeah, faster resource imports, even faster resource imports and super fast resource in imports. Uh, and then you can do like faster resources, turbocharged overhead conveyors, so they can move faster on the conveyor and import faster as well, which will definitely help out. But right now, obviously, we can't do anything about that. Uh, I wonder if it's worth... We just, we just definitely seem to be having issues here. And it's definitely resources. And it's not the speed at all. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, waiting for resources. Right. How much is it going to cost us if we wanted to do... Uh, there's no, like, nearby resource conveyor. It would be all the way from over the other side of the factory if we wanted to get another line in, which is kind of annoying. Uh, and probably wouldn't help us, to be perfectly honest. Uh, that's just annoying. Well, how's our research going? Slowly. Very slowly. Maybe we should research... I don't even know. Engine... What was it? There was the... Uh, was it the engine? What is this section? Yeah, the engine. Why don't we research that instead? Engine specialization. Let's do that instead. It's 400... Uh, I guess 400 research points. Yeah. 
So it will be quicker than the other one anyway. Uh, I might get in another research office as well. Now, can we see... Uh, wages, marketing, production, science... I guess science? No, that's... Capital investment. So, what, what the hell is it? Wait, I'm trying to figure out what the... Rent, component purchase, capital investment, raw materials... Power purchase. Yeah, so we're spending quite a lot of money on power, so that'll probably be worth eventually doing the power plant. Um, marketing, sales, science, production. What are you guys? This research office. Are you science? Surely they're science. They look sciencey. I'm gonna guess it's science. No, it's not that bad actually. We could probably get a few more of these. I mean, if there's an issue. And we can undo. We can we can backtrack a little. Uh, so that should make it go a little bit quicker. Right, so definitely having an issue here, for sure. The just cars sitting there and sitting there and sitting there waiting to get through the engine area, which is actually really, really bad. Uh I might I just don't I just can't see it helping getting another uh resource importer from over the fact over the other side of the factory. But we'll do it. Wait, how much is it going to cost me? Ah, oh, it tells me. Good. I'll just join it on there or something. 55,000 for this. And I don't think it's really going to help us. But let's do it. That's a lot of money. So now... Did I do that right? Or is that just... Is that just did I connect this? Or does it just order from that one because it's closer? Because otherwise I've just wasted money on that. Uh... I don't, you can't place those wrong, though, I don't think, can you? Wait, where's another bloody thing? No, you can't, you can't place them wrong, okay. Uh, research complete, oh, awesome. Right, so we've got the engine thing out. So this, we'll leave that for now. Then we'll, we'll go back to the power one, because that's actually quite a lot of money we're spending on that. Um, okay, so this has done nothing for us. What if we, instead... Uh, oh, you serious? That's not what I meant to do. Oh, that's a lot of money. Remove that. Remove that. Okay. What if we have this one? Seeing as we've built this line, I might as well use it, right? Have this connect to here. Okay, so now that's ordering stuff. That's ordering for those, only those two. Right, so now we should also, when we have money, be able to go into fit engine and get each of the individual parts, which is obviously going to take up a lot more room. So what we'd have to do is rotate the whole thing that way. But we don't really have money to do it. Uh, I guess we could, um, I mean, we could start, leave that there and we can start building out this way and then just remove that when we don't need it anymore. So maybe we'll do that actually. So fit engine assembly is 14 seconds. And what what are we what are we looking at? We're doing 25 seconds or something. It's a pretty slow line, isn't it? Every 25 seconds. So yeah, fit we only need one engine assembly thing. So if we just go, let's put it there, for example. Fit engine assembly. Actually, these are gonna have staff costs. So maybe I won't build those yet. Because <laughs> if we put those there, it's gonna start costing us money um, the whole way through. Now we have a couple cars sitting there. We are spending a lot of money. Expenses have gone down, though. But our profit is not doing so well. I think it's because we had cars backed up for so long. We're back at 100,000. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, again, I think uh, trying to reduce reduce the, the power. 19,000 in the last hour. 24 hours, 228,000. We are spending a lot on power, so... Any that we can produce is going to help us out for sure. Which is good. Good, good news. Just insufficient resources constantly on these. It's not good. Running. That one's running quite a lot right now. This one is waiting forever. It's not doing well. One car waiting to be sold. Okay. All right. All right. So, 100,000 bucks. How are we going on the research? Because that's also... That's going to be done soon. Yeah, almost done. So, that is going to be good. I don't know. How much is this going to cost us, though? Power plant? Oh, 5,000 bucks. All right. So, then... 
I guess we'll move into... Let's get the more robots now. I think we should probably get onto that so we can speed things up in general. Uh, then we'll get the power plant, which I'm going to put over here, I guess. I'll put behind the research, because we can add more research that way. So this is going to go here. So this produces 1,800 power. Okay. I assume that not only does this have some sort of expense to it, but I assume it's cheaper than buying the power. One would imagine it's cheaper than buying power. <laughs> At least you'd hope so. I'll get a couple more just so we're prepared for the future. Right, so now we're producing plenty of power. So this will be interesting to see. Ooh, look at that. Whoop. Uh, so this will be interesting to see what our expenses on power are like. So we purchased 252,000 of all time. In the last 24 hours, 248,000. Last hour, only 1,300. Which, what did that used to be? Like 11,000? So... Not bad. Not bad. So I think that's going to help us out a lot. Wow. Yep. This is just dead. Absolutely dead. So let's start doing this again because now we have money. <laughs> now we have a bit of money to do this. So we're going to go... There should be fine. Uh, yeah, okay. It'll be fine. Radiator is six seconds. They don't need a huge amount of space between them. Uh, fit the exhaust is also six seconds. Uh, more robots is done. So that means we can even speed that up a little bit more. Uh, wait, was well, that fit exhaust then? So this is 13 seconds. As long as it's not more than 25 seconds, we should be fine. Uh, so wait, that was the wheel assembly. And then... Steering wheel. Right. Okay, so now we're going to start sending cars also down this way. So some of them can start using this. Uh, well, actually, I guess they can't because we don't actually have any... Uh, where's that? Here. Because I don't have any resources yet, but they will. So that'll go there. Uh, we have a resource importer there. We have that one over here. I think I'm going to disconnect this line here and use that to supply these. And I might even use this one here to supply a couple of these too. So you do those two. Then we have that one there. So this can come... Oh. Right, okay. I kind of wish it didn't let me spend the money. Ah. <sighs> Right, that's production line, again, uh, yeah, alright, well that's, that's, um, that's a lesson learnt, I guess, really, really pay attention to my money. Uh, in the game's defense, it, it, it is, uh, it's pretty early on, so it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't really have any warnings, other than I should be paying attention to my money myself, uh, but I think you th know what I was gonna do, uh. I think, I think the real shame of all of this is that we, we started off struggling, and then we made it. And then I had to go and ruin everything by spending too much money on bloody conveyors without realizing it. Damn it. Damn it! Well, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time, and have an awesome day.